In this step we're going to build the coin sensor, which may not make a lot of sense until it's installed in the crow box, but uh, it is a very easy part to make, or sorry, to uh, assemble. So it's only two pieces, we have those here. Uh, this is called the coin sensor stand, and this is the coin sensor itself. Um, and These need to be peeled front and back, so let's get to that. Okay, these two parts are peeled, and um, assembly is is dead simple, so long as the parts are oriented correctly. So you want to turn the um, coin sensor stand so that uh, this cut-off corner here, this uh, sheared corner, is up and to the right. And we're just going to pick it up off the bench like that, and the correct assembly is just like this. So the finished part looks like this with the finish part will look like this rather with the um, the sheared off corner here and the pointy part of the sensor there so the way I like to keep this straight for assembly is just to lift that off like that now it takes a little bit of care in applying the cement here because we only want it left and right of the tab so here here And with that, we'll then take the coin sensor and just kind of push it into place. And then with our hands, just keep that in a T-shape. For just a moment, you'll feel the cement uh, stop slipping um, when you have the, the part aligned uh, correctly. And it's worth noting that this also is a part that has an acceptable uh, tolerance built into it, so you don't have to worry if things aren't absolutely precise in terms of alignment. But you do have to worry that things are absolutely precise in the way this is put together with this sheared off corner of the stand to my right and then the pointy part of the coin sensor also to the right. So this just needs a safe place to sit and cure so that it doesn't get uh, its shape disturbed. So I'll go set this up somewhere and we'll move on.